Hello on an absolutely beautiful evening for football here at Selhurst Park in South London. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Crystal Palace versus Arsenal. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And the game begins. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Granit Xhaka plays alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Gabriel Jesus. And promising stuff from Arsenal. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Pulls it back. Well, he opted for power from close range. He might be regretting that now. Zaha. Just the clearance that was needed. And he was in the right place to intercept. Cedric. Lokonga. Granit Xhaka. Now with Jesus. And successfully cut out. Zaha. Able to skip past his man. Well, let's take another look at this because the Maradona turn to beat his marker is brilliant. He just leaves his man for dead and opens up the space to finish. What a great goal that was. On they go again, and Arsenal know they need to wipe out that last goal. And they need to get tighter here. Well, he has the measure of his opponent. But the danger averted for now. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Xhaka. How can they open up the defence here? Crossing opportunity. And the flag was up in good time. It's offside. Well, he should have realised that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. Jean-Philippe Mateta. And a fine stop. And now the delivery. It comes to nothing in the end. On and on he goes. A routine save. Granit Xhaka. Bukayo Saka. Xhaka with it. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Well, it's been quite clear that Palace have been second best. Oh, wait a minute. They could be in here. Terrific save. Well, that's a top-class save. He read it so well. Let's see about the delivery. Well, he couldn't get the header on the target, but robust defending. And a body in the way. Martin Odegaard. And breaking at pace with Menace. Decent progress with the ball at his feet. Brilliant save.
Can he deliver it with accuracy? And cleared away. Can they square the game? Martin Odegaard. There's a slide draw pass. And a chance, Odegaard. And it's gone in beyond the goalkeeper. Arsenal level. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really good bit of play. Watch how he turns his marker and then has the composure to finish. That's a top-class goal. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. He'll take this on. Now well, the managers will now deliver their half-time. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Lokonga. Gabriel. Jacker with it. It's with Gabriel. Well, plenty of positives in the first half where Martin Odegaard was concerned. What did you make of his contribution? Well, it was a vital goal and at a crucial time, you have to say. Certainly changes the complexion of the game now, but it's whether they can take the momentum into the second half as they've struggled at times today. Well, he certainly wasn't offside by a mile. It's a good Palace move in the making, but they dealt with the threat posed. Martin Odegaard. And possession lost, intercepted. And a chance to whip it in here. Has someone to play it to. Well, let's look at this again. He's done superbly well to pick out a teammate here, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? 30 minutes to go then. Encouraging move from Crystal Palace. Can he finish? Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Well, as you can see, Arsenal had most of the ball, but most of their passing has been in deeper areas. Unless they start getting it into their front players with better quality, they'll struggle to turn this one around. Intelligent threaded pass here, but ably intercepted when it looked as though they might be in. Zaha. It did look on for them, but not to be. Bukayo Saka into the final 20 minutes Martin Odegaard excellent vision well, what can they do to stop him running at them defensive efficiency personified can they hit on the break all hands on deck. Takes aim. And the keeper got there. Let's see about the delivery. Well, not cleared away completely. Are you? Well, fair play. He took on the shot. But he's not going to be happy with how it ended. Substitution for Crystal Palace. Coming off the pitch. Number 15.
Martin Erdegaard. Nicely cut out. Wilfried Zaha. Jacker with it. And Kessia. Rob them. Well, just listen to this atmosphere. It's been such a tight game, but the fans are certainly doing their bit in trying to... We wondered who was going to win the race. The answer, the goalkeeper. And Kessia. And then see an attacking position. It's not too late for them. An incisive pass. Oh, what a fantastic save. Well, that's a match-winning save there. Not long left now. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Who can they pick out? Danger averted for now. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. And space available inside. And touched onto the frame of the goal. And there goes the final whistle. The big story here, maximum points for Palace. What did you make of it? Well, Derek.